The year was 1937, and the country was in the middle of the Great Depression. Now that doesn't really have much to do with you, but I have heard all really good speeches start with those words. Uh, so, well, I guess maybe just one, but hopefully I can add to that list. Um, and at least we talked about something historical, so I'm going to count that as a win as a social studies teacher. But before I start, let's get serious for a, for a minute. I, I didn't really know what to think uh, when I was asked to speak here today. I know some people might be nervous about speaking in front of so many people. Others might be too emotional seeing you guys leave. There are many reasons why my colleagues might you know, be hesitant to speak in front of everyone today. But for me, it was different. Honestly, I thought you guys didn't like me. <laughs> I mean, the last time I was with most of you was Thursday, March 12, 2020. The next day I went to uh, a professional development conference in the morning that got canceled. And then you guys just stopped showing up to my class. <laughs> Did I do something to offend you? Did I say something to upset you? Are you holding the school's choice of substitute that Friday morning against me? Because I had nothing to do with that choice. I mean, historically speaking, every class that I've taught has managed to make it through June. But you guys all banded together and decided that you had enough to see me in person in March. But now we're all back together, and I'm speaking at your graduation. Kind of surprising, right? I mean, what's that all about? Are you guys sure we're cool now? Go on. But now that we're here, I suppose, uh, I should give the standard think about your future portion of the speech that everyone has come to expect. For all of you, a life outside these walls awaits. Things will be different. Life will have its ups and downs as you navigate the next chapters of your life. But I think this group before me has something special about it. The Sabbath class of 2024 <clears throat> has been able to find success academically, artistically, musically, and athletically through tremendous external challenges over the past few years because of their ability to adapt. Let's take a, a few moments to reflect on some of the challenges and changes that you've experienced over the past couple of years. Number one, you experienced the world shutting down due to a pandemic, not to mention a terrifying toilet paper shortage. You were thrown into a world of Google online education with zero preparation for it. I mean, the school was just starting to hand out Chromebooks to high schoolers the week that everything shut down. When you did return to school, it was only part-time, and we could barely hear you, and only your eyes could express the emotions that you were feeling. Extracurricular activities, sports, drama production, all were held as awkwardly far apart as possible. But then, school got back to normal. And then we changed things for you with an app. We adults implemented a new grading policy that reflected some of the concerns initiated by the pandemic. We created a new cell phone policy that tried to answer the most pressing question of the day. Can teenagers go a minute without checking their snap tweeter or face space? Finally, you were tasked with being a part of the school mascot name change. So many votes. So many bird images to choose from that looked exactly the same. <laughs> Some of these challenges were easier than others to face. Some of the changes were more welcome than others. But through it all, the class of 2024 was able to embrace those challenges before them and adapt to ensure success as individuals, on teams, and as a community uh, as a whole. I have witnessed much of the success you have had from a distance, since the majority of you avoided me since 2020. I have heard about your academic success from colleagues, watched amazing drama productions, attended fantastic art shows and music concerts, watched and coached your very successful, successful sports teams. Each of these displays has demonstrated that this class of 2024 has never backed down from the gym. It has regularly demonstrated an ability to grow the most direct evidence I have of this was for coaching the varsity swimming and diving team this year. I believe it's a microcosm of the school community. This year I had the opportunity and pleasure to work with 10 members of the senior class. As a team, we faced a season filled with close meets. 
In the end, the team fought to earn its success at sectionals as both individuals and as a group. But the energy, commitment, and leadership of the class of 2024, despite four of those members not being a part of the sport until this year, bonded the team together and managed to bring a sense of calmness and resilience to an otherwise very young team. I think it is indicative of a senior class who has lived in a world of changes. One that is willing to try something new, because that's what they've been training to do for their entire high school career. So as you look forward to the upcoming years, class of 2024, I hope you have a sense of confidence when life throws you challenges. I hope you remember how resilient you have been, how you've been able to adapt to external circumstances that even the adults in your life were scrambling to figure out. You have managed to usher in many new activities and sports over the past few years, and they will leave a mark on the school community for years to come. Some of you were even doing multiple activities and sports all at the same time. That's pretty impressive. Very busy group. Uh, for example, oh, I've, sorry. Uh, I've seen your willingness to find enjoyment in, in so many things. And for example, uh, the exchange students in your, in your class. I mean, was there an activity that they did not all jump at the, uh, the, the chance to do this year? Can we name one? I mean, they were doing literally everything. They embraced the opportunity to be challenged, and I hope that you see that and continue to do that in the future. Whether it's work or military or continuing schooling in your future, you are prepared for the obstacles ahead. Continue to do new activities, stay flexible, and adapt. You have the world ahead of you. And if your year at Avon gives us a glimpse of what's to come, I'm excited to see what you will accomplish. Congratulations, class of 2024. Best wishes to all of you on a successful